In this video, we're going to talk about the L2R or Live to Ride Abstract. This is a very meat and potato snowboard, traditional camber, decent side cut, decent flex pattern. It's a snowboard that could be a quiver of one for anyone that wants to ride it. It's a snowboard that does snowboard things. This board features traditional camber, the most tried and true camber profile out there. It's seriously older than this visor beanie. Basically, it's going to give you snap, you're going to know how it rides, and that's that. The Live to Ride Abstract comes in around the middle of the road flex pattern. What you get is outside the inserts, through the middle stiffer, and then softer in the tips, with a decent amount of torsional flex. When you're on firmer or icier snow, you're going to feel every vibration. You're going to feel every divot in the snow. It just resonates right back up. It does have a lot of chatter. With that said, it's still a board you could plow through heavy snow with and chunder and crap. Like it would push it out of the way. You would just feel it underfoot. It wasn't the most damp board I've been on, but it wasn't the most lively board. It was just a snowboard and that's what it did. This board's got traditional camber, which means it's got snap and pop in it. It's a board you load up and it snaps. It's not the snappiest, it doesn't suck. It pops off the lips well enough and it's stable for landing jumps. I mean, this is a board you can just go out and ride. It's a very meat and potatoes style snowboard. It just, it's a snowboard and it does what you need it to do. The pop's there, it's okay on transitions and off lips, but it's not anything to write home about. It's just a snowboard at the end of the day. You wanna make sure that you get your weight over it. You're gonna feel it flex right through the camber right there. So it's a good flex point. And when your weight is out over it, you'll notice that the board will sag right there and lock into presses, butters, jibs. It's one of those boards that you got to work a little bit to get it. It is traditional camber. So for those of you that are used to riding hybrid camber or reverse camber, you're going to work for it when you're trying to butter this board. If you're coming from traditional camber and you do know how to actually butter and jib, you're going to be fine. Now, the one thing you're going to notice when you get sideways with this board is that it sort of balances or teeter-totters on the feature. It doesn't really hug it, and that's just due to the flex pattern of the board. This board is really built around doing long, drawn-out carves versus tight, hard carves. If you're trying to aggressively carve with this board, you're going to hit a wall. It's not going to push through it. It's just going to have limitations to it. But if you're doing long, drawn-out carves, it's solid. You can really swoop from one side of the trail to the other, just making really big S's as you go. This isn't a board for just railing tight, hard carves, though. So who would I recommend this board for? Well, the abstract is definitely for the guy that just wants a snowboard. They, they get on it, it's popsicle stick shape, it has camber, and it does snowboard things. This board doesn't stick out as being an exceptional board, but it doesn't suck. It's just a snowboard. Like, you ride it, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Did snowboard things, I ollied over this, I did a turn over here. That's it. It's just, it's so, it's just blah. It's fucking meat and potatoes with no added seasoning. That's all this board is. There's nothing abstract about this board. It's very meat and potatoes. And these are some other meat and potato snowboards that stack up to this board. And these are some other meat and potato snowboards that are very comparable to this deck. The Arbor Coda Camber. The K2 Subculture, the Rosnal Templar, the Weston Range, the Battalion Goliath, the Burton Custom Kilroy. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.